Wake up in Bradenton and you can catch almost any fish you set your mind to. With easy access to the Manatee and Braden Rivers, Sarasota and Tampa Bay just a stone's throw away, and the Gulf of Mexico's deep waters in the distance, fishing in Bradenton is the ultimate ticket. In this video, we're getting into the top fish species you can catch, how to go about casting a line here, and everything else you need to know to plan the perfect trip. But before we get started, make sure you're hitting those like and subscribe buttons below. Bradenton has a diverse fishing landscape at its disposal, meaning you can catch a variety of both saltwater and freshwater species. Kicking things off for this video are the undisputed inshore kings, snook. From slobs to slot-sized fish, you'll find them in warm and shallow areas across both saltwater and freshwater fisheries in Bradenton. The season for snook fishing peaks in the summer months, which is also the best time to get in on some world-class sight fishing. Since they spook easily and put up a pretty good fight, having some angling experience will put you in a better position to hook one. Otherwise, additional inshore targets like redfish, spotted sea trout, mangrove snapper, and even small groupers are excellent choices for anglers of all skill levels. Best of all, most of these fish can be hooked nearly year-round, making Bradenton's inshore fishery one for the books. The city also experiences world-class tarpon fishing along its beaches during the summer months. Fishing for tarpon is a game of skill, not a game of numbers, so gear up with heavy tackle and patience and you might just have an 80-plus pound fish at the end of your line. If you're up for an adventure a little further from shore, there's still plenty you can look forward to. The reefs and wrecks around the Bradenton area are known for exceptional grouper fishing for gag, red, and even goliath grouper varieties. These fish will be much bigger than the groupers you'll find in shore, so if you're aiming for a trophy, look for waters at least 60 feet deep. This is also where you're going to find delicious snapper varieties, including coveted red snappers during the summer months. To reach these productive areas, you'll need to travel at least 12 miles out into the Gulf of Mexico, and often much further. So, if a big grouper or snapper is on your target list, head to fishingbooker.com or download the app to browse and book the largest selection of fishing charters in Bradenton. And the further you go, the better it gets. Deep sea fishing trips do require more travel time, but they can put you on bucket list fish including mahi-mahi, tuna, and even sailfish on long-haul trips. So that covers Bradenton's top fish species. Now you're probably wondering where to go. As we mentioned earlier, the city has access to a seriously diverse fishing landscape. With Sarasota Bay sitting to the south of Bradenton, Tampa Bay to the north, and the Gulf's open waters just beyond Anna Maria Island, there's a lot to look forward to. For snook and redfish, you can't go wrong with a visit to the numerous grass flats surrounding the area. If you're more experienced, drift over shallow flats like the ones along the southern edge of Tampa Bay. This will allow you to sight cast or try out techniques like fly fishing. If you're just starting out or you're fishing with kids, the deeper grass flats closer to the intracoastal waterway are a better choice and can additionally put you on those inshore snappers and groupers we mentioned earlier. As for fishing in the Gulf, Longboat Pass is the ideal place to start from. It connects the Gulf of Mexico with the northern end of Sarasota Bay, providing both excellent fishing from the rock jetty and bridge within the pass itself as well as clear passage into offshore waters. And while the Gulf's really deep waters may be a long way away, the nearshore reefs provide a little taste of the action. The Bulkhead and South Tampa Artificial Reef Systems, or the Pinellas Reefs further out, attract anything from Spanish mackerel to groupers and barracuda. And finally, there are the beaches. Anna Maria Island lies just across the way from mainland Bradenton. There are plenty of public access points to the beaches where you can set up and cast for as long as you please. Now that we've got fish species and fishing spots down, it's time to dive into how to cast a line in Bradenton. Most likely, you'll either be fishing from a boat or from the shore, so let's take a closer look into what each of those entails. Fishing from a charter boat offers a number of advantages. First and foremost, you'll be able to access areas that you can't reach from shore. That includes the nearshore reefs, deeper flats, and of course, the Gulf of Mexico's blue water. Second, you'll have a local licensed charter captain with you on board who can help you learn how to cast, take you to exclusive honey holes, and share the history and stories specific to fishing in Bradenton. On a more technical side, they'll also cover your fishing licenses, provide your gear and bait, 
and make sure you're respecting all local regulations related to open seasons, harvest limits, and more. If you're a shorebound angler, Bradenton is one of the best places to visit thanks to its fantastic and accessible inshore fisheries. You can cast a line from the Rod and Reel Pier for inshore game fish, set up on Anna Maria Island's beaches, or even go wade fishing within DeSoto National Memorial Park. With shore fishing, you take on the responsibility of getting yourself a fishing license, having the right gear for a successful day, and making sure you're respecting regulations, which are all important things to keep in mind. And speaking of regulations, let's take a closer look at those. The most important thing to remember is that every angler between the ages of 16 and 65 needs to have a valid fishing license to fish in Florida, unless you're fishing aboard a saltwater charter. To take a closer look at the different resident and non-resident licenses available, check out our extensive blog article. The other thing you'll need to ensure is that you're up to date on all the local rules and regulations. For example, Red Snapper, Grouper, and Snook are subject to seasonal closures and strict harvest limits that vary from year to year, while fish like tarpon are strictly catch and release. So make sure you're consulting with your captain or the FWC before deciding what to target and what to keep. And that covers it. You're officially ready for your Bradenton fishing adventure. Once it's time to book your trip, visit fishingbooker.com or download the app from the Google Play or App Store. You'll be able to browse the largest selection of fishing charters in Bradenton, compare prices and amenities, and book the perfect charter for you. What are you waiting for? Your Bradenton fishing trip awaits.